Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am going to do a little showcase of the uh, the Jetboil Genesis 2, uh, the double burner setup that I've got here. I said I was going to make a video on it, so I figure, well, what I'll do is I'll make lunch, and um, uh, and you guys can see how that works out with the two pans. I've used this uh, probably for two, three weeks solid now on multiple trips in the last little while and it's been working great for me. But um, I just thought I'd show you guys on, on camera here. So I'm making grilled cheese for lunch today and I'm making um, actually four kinds of grilled cheese. I am making a standard grilled cheese which is just simply old cheddar and then I'm going to make a grilled cheese that has tomato in it, make a grilled cheese that has pickles in it and make a grilled cheese with um, onions in it. I've had um, grilled cheese with onions in at one time served to me when I was in South Africa and I thought it tasted pretty good but I've had haven't had a since and it's been like 17 years or something like that and then I've had um, this one time I was at a food cart downtown and uh, the way they served their grilled cheese sandwich is that it had a it had a pickle on it I thought oh that's kind of neat and then um, I've seen it made with tomato as well too so I want to make all four and then do a little taste test and see which one works best so the key ingredients as always with uh, grilled cheese for me personally is always use um, always use um, really good old cheddar uh, I am going to see if I can do this all at the same time so that it all comes out just buttering up my bread here normally I use white bread but uh, it just so happens the only bread that I had in the fridge was uh, in the cupboard was uh, a light rye bread so that I'll have to so get the the old cheddar onto the bread here normally I just make my grilled cheese just with the uh, with just the cheese you know, none of this fancy stuff but I thought uh, why not just for fun we're gonna do something a little bit different I'll save a bit of cheese just for the dogs maybe all right okay so um, each one of these will be sandwiched, they're all different. So this one will be, let's see, this one will be the tomato one. Let's make this the pickle one. Just, I think just one slice is good. This one right here will be the, the onion one. Just a little bit of tomato is from my garden. The um, the, the Walla Walla onion is also from my garden. And then the last one here will be just grilled cheese. And uh, as always, a little bit of sea salt, just to, for flavoring. This is Mediterranean sea salt. Lots of butter to cap that off there. I'm going to flip that over and as it gets nice and heated. A little extra cheese, why not? All right, and I think these are, these have been on here long enough now. They're ready to be flipped. Oh, this is going to be hard to flip. Uh, make some room here. I'm going to flip this one first. Look. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That looks really good. And then flip this one. Hey, there it is. Ooh. A little bit warm on that one. That's okay. And then flip this one. Right here. Oh, that's nice. Tiny bit of sea salt on here still, just for giggles. So it's kind of hard to tell if the burner that's closer to the heat of the fuel source is a little bit hotter because this is a smaller pan and this is a bigger pan. I'm thinking this is a 10 inch and this is a 12 inch. So this dissipates heat more than this one does. So this um, sandwich here looks like it's burnt 
a little bit more, or not burnt, but it's a little bit browner than this side, but it's not really a fair comparison because if I swap the pans around, in fact, I might just do that just for, is that too hot? Oh, that's really warm actually. Oh yeah, okay, let's see if I can just swap this over. See if that makes any difference at all. Okay, so here we go. Um, this is pretty much done. So this is, this pan, the larger pan is now closer to the fuel source. And let's have a look to see if, that's just a light brown. This is the smaller pan that I moved further away. And in theory, yeah, see so now this is, <coughs> this has got more brown to it as well too. Now this is definitely, I think just because it's a smaller pan um, and if there's, it's just not dissipating the heat nearly as well as this one here. So arguably, this is not exact science here for me, um, that the, the heat, the heat output from both are exactly the same. So that's kind of cool. All right, time to plate these. Here we are. This is the last. Look at that. Yes, yeah, beautiful. All right, so this is the grilled cheese. Grilled cheese with onion, grilled cheese with pickle, and grilled cheese with tomato. So there's four kinds on here. Thank you, sir. Laura is going to be part of the taste testing crew. All right, I'll get back to you. Put it on my dad. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's test this out here. This is the uh, this is the tomato one. Hmm. That tomato one is really juicy, just because the tomatoes got a lot of uh, <coughs> liquid in it. Definitely taste the tomato. This is the pickle one. Mmm. Like that pickle one a lot. I love pickles, so <clears throat> let's try the onion one with the Walla Walla onion. Mmm. I like that a lot as well. That's really good with the onion on there. I haven't had that in a very long time. And this is just a standard with grilled cheese. Now this standard grilled cheese just tastes a little bit boring now because the other one's got so much flavor. All right, here you go. So hopefully it gives you some idea, maybe um, while you're cooking a camp, just to experiment, <coughs> making a fun little grilled cheese, but putting different things in it. You could really put anything you want in it. <coughs> you can put an avocado in there, you could put sausages in there, you put whatever you want. But um, that was, um, that was quite, I'm gonna go finish my lunch. As far as the, the stove goes, um, apparently, as far as I can tell, both burners have equal output. <clears throat> the, I had the, the flame control sitting in the same position, um, one and a half turn, and that simmered really, really well. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, just a different size prime pan. There were the 10 inch pan that just simply absorbed more heat, um, and the 12 inch pan dissipated more heat. So. They kind of uh, brown the sandwiches or the grilled cheese at different rate, but uh, it worked out really well. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.